Hi everybody, this is Nikki again, and I am here to do video number four on the Medtronic tips um, that I received from a Medtronic trainer to pass on to people who are looking for Medtronic tips to get their 670G to work. Um, these videos are personal experience where applicable, um, personal opinion guaranteed, and absolutely no medical advice whatsoever, even despite the fact that they carry the Medtronic backing, I guess, um, if you believe it, um, because Medtronic doesn't give medical advice either, um, I don't think. Medtronic's probably giving medical advice to everybody else, <laughs> except for me, they're like, don't give it to her. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, this tip is blood glucose, BG versus calibration tips. Um, I'm, I'm going to read you what they said. Uh, and then I'll try to think if there's anything in here I can add. Oh, okay. I'll show you first because they got a visual. Um, so this is what I'm looking at. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Um, you might be hearing from your patients that their Minimed 670G system may be asking them to check their blood glucose more frequently than what they are used to. Remember, it is important to ask your patients if the system is requiring a BG or a calibration. The, min, the, mini, sorry, the Minimed 670G system can request the patient checks their glucose for two very different purposes. Let's focus on the distinction and why the system may be asking your patients for one or the other. So that first one was the Calibrate Now, and that one says BG needed for, I can't read it, for continuation of accurate sensor data. And then here's your BG required. And that one is BG needed to enter or stay in smart guard auto mode. Okay, so calibrate now. A finger stick BG value is needed for the sensor to ensure the sensor can continue to give the patient glucose data. Uh, without a calibration, the patient will not see values displayed on their pump, nor will they be able to be in smart guard auto mode. Okay, so a calibrate now, you've got to calibrate now, um, or you get kicked out of auto mode. That's the way I, I see this. Um, and you don't have your number anymore. Okay, BG required. A finger stick BG value is needed for smart guard auto mode to confirm the sensor's health so that auto mode can continue dosing based on sensor glucose readings. All right, um, when a patient enters a finger stick value as a result of a BG required alert, the patient can also choose, can choose all, to also use that value to calibrate. However, when a finger stick BG is entered for a calibration needed for sensor data, it will not be used by auto mode and a BG required alert still can occur if needed. So I guess what they're saying is that if you've been asked to calibrate now, you might be followed with another BG required because they're two separate functions. It's the first time I've, this is the first time I actually read that and thought it through. Um, so I get that. So maybe if you've been asked to calibrate now and then you turn around and, and you see a BG required, that there's two different functions that they serve, and so this is this is normal. Um, the most often seen example of this is the first calibration following sensor insertion at the completion of the warm-up period. The system will ask the patient to calibrate so they can begin to see glucose values on their pump. And around 20 minutes later, the system will then ask the patient to check their BG to enter auto mode. This is not a glitch in the system, but ensures the patient is safe in auto mode. Um, again, that is something that took me a while to figure that one out, but there is a very specific uh, process that you go on a brand new uh, sensor and it is slightly different than when you enter auto mode the rest of the time. Um, and I don't think that's a glitch. I think that's how they set it up. So if you have a patient reporting that the system is asking them to check their BG, make sure you are confirming if it is a BG required or a Calibrate Now request. Then you can instruct them that either the sensor is needing a BG to continue giving sensor data, which would be Calibrate Now, or that the system is trying to ensure their safety in auto mode, a BG required. Um, that's fine. I don't, I don't know if that helps anybody or not. I wanted to pass it on. The only thing I would say is I find it very interesting that in neither this tip or the other BG required tip, do they mention anything about the 35%? Um, that is information I got from a Medtronic representative in one of the very early, early phone calls. And I learned how to calculate that 35% before most, uh, BGs that I, that I entered into the pump. 
And that is because I figured out right off the bat that if it's outside that 35%, even if you don't calibrate, you immediately get a BG required. Um, so it's a pain in the butt, but you, you travel with the calculator, you make sure it's within 35%, you give it immediately, knowing that all your numbers can change quickly. Um, and then I skipped a million BG requires just by doing that. I'm really surprised that they don't mention anything about that in their tips. Um, it is not guaranteed, but it is guaranteed that if you try to calibrate with two back-to-back -back numbers that are outside that 35%, that you are going to be asked to change your sensor. And so since this is on BG and calibration tips, I am surprised that that's not in there. Um, but it, now you got it. Okay, anyway, so if you got something to say, if you got something to add, um, if you'd like to throw something, whatever it is, leave it in the comments um, and then there'll be crickets. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.